Hello friends, how are you? This is our first lecture of strength of material or mechanics of structure. In this lecture, we will see the importance of strength of material, the need of strength of material and the difference between applied mechanics and strength of material. Before we start, let me know do you know the difference between strength of material and mechanics of structure? In fact, there is no difference between them. These two are the two names of the same subject. Strength of material is used for mechanical engineering students and civil engineering students use the name mechanics of structure. So both subjects are same in their curriculum only some topics are different. So for that particular topic for a particular subject I will be specifically telling you in that lecture. Now henceforth when I will say SOM it is also applicable for MOS. SOM means strength of material MOS means mechanics of structure. Now, let us first see the difference between APM and SOM. For that purpose, let us first see the different steps of any particular structure. This is first step, this is second step, this is third step, and this is the fourth step. Now these four steps are this is first step A, P, M that is applied mechanics which you have studied in your first year. This is the second step that is SOM or just now I have told you MOS. This is for second semester, this is for third semester, this is for third semester mechanical, third semester civil. Then TOS means theory of structures for fourth semester civil and then DOS that is design of structure or for mechanical engineering students it is machine design. So these are the steps. So you can very easily see that in first year you have studied applied mechanics. So applied mechanics is the prerequisite for SOM and MOS. This year we will be studying this SOM and MOS. This will be prerequisite for this. So these are the steps. First step we have already crossed. Second, third, fourth like this one. Now let us see the difference between applied mechanics and strength of materials. No doubt when I will say SOM it is uh, applicable for MOS also. Now this subject we studied in first year, this subject this year we are going to study. Now let us consider the example of a body. Which is subjected to two forces of equal magnitudes P acting along the center line of this body. 
here we are talking about applied mechanics now in this case it is very clear that let us see that this particular direction is x direction and the direction perpendicular to it is y direction now let us apply the conditions of equilibrium what are the conditions of equilibrium we studied in first year there are three conditions of equilibrium sigma fx is equal to zero that is summation of all the forces in x direction there are two forces in x direction this is towards right plus this is minus so plus p minus p equals to zero let us think of y direction let us do the summation of all the forces in y direction it is very clear from the figure that on this body there is no force in y direction so this is already zero the third condition is summation of moments now as all these two forces are collinear their moment is also therefore you can see that summation of forces in x direction is zero summation of forces in y direction is zero summation of moments is zero therefore as per applied mechanics is concerned we can say that this particular body is in equilibrium that means it will be at rest now let us consider the same problem as far as som is concerned again consider the body subjected to two collinear forces each of magnitude p now we are considering the same problem in som now as far as som is concerned what will happen these are the two equal and collinear opposite forces are applied on the body as far as som is concerned it is said that this body will extend reducing its cross sectional dimensions and increasing its length so as these two equal forces opposite forces are applied on the body what will happen the length of the member will increase and cross sectional dimensions will decrease now you will say that why it is like that for a apm and saw same body is there same forces it is because of as far as applied mechanics is concerned all the bodies are supposed to be perfectly rigid as the body is rigid what do you mean by rigid body the body which does not change its shape and size after application of load so all the bodies which we have considered in applied mechanics were rigid bodies there is no perfectly rigid body in the world it is imaginary concept so body cannot be perfectly rigid which is considered in som that is as far as som is concerned all the bodies are considered to be deformable bodies
what do you mean by deformable bodies the body is with change in its shape and size after application of load is known as deformable body rather moreover all the bodies which we will be considering in swarm will be elastic so there are two types that we will see afterwards so the basic difference between apm and swarm is apm was the prerequisite swarm is the second step so in apm that is applied mechanics every body was assumed to be perfectly rigid therefore apm is also known as mechanics of solids in swarm all the bodies are considered to be deformable or elastic so it is known as mechanics of deformable bodies so this is regarding the difference between apm and swarm now let us consider what is the meaning of swarm mass what is its importance now in this subject of strength of material or mechanics of structure we are going to study different properties of various materials which are used for designing the parts of the machine or for designing the members of a structure after the loads are applied on the machine parts or on the structure what will be the effects of those forces from that what are the properties needed for that particular member or for that particular part can be decided only if we know the various materials and their properties from that we can decide the suitability therefore this particular subject swarm is very much useful it is prerequisite for machine design in that we will be studying all the properties and then in machine design you can decide which material is perfectly suitable now for mass also different structure different members how they behave after the application of load according to that what will be the suitable material to be used for that basically as far as machine parts or structures are concerned whatever forces are applied on that what are the effects of forces as far as designs are concerned we must use a perfect suitable material so that that particular member or that particular part of the machine will be able to resist the all effects coming on that part or structure due to the application of load okay therefore this particular subject swarm for mechanical engineers mos for civil engineers is very very important and this particular subject is a key subject without which you cannot proceed further you cannot proceed for theory of structure that is analysis you cannot proceed for design of structure that is design you cannot proceed for machine design as far as mechanical engineering students are concerned so this is regarding the importance or need scope you must have now understood that why it is necessary to study strength of material if you do not study strength of material or mechanics of structure you will not able to understand what are the different materials available what are their properties which material can be used for which type of member which material can be used for which type of parts that is what are the various properties of different materials that is what we are going to study in this particular subject therefore now to sum up what we saw in this lecture first one is the ladder of the structure apm which we saw swarm toss dos then most important difference between apm and swarm we saw all the bodies in apm were rigid all the bodies in swarm are deformable rather they are elastic in short apm is the study of external effects on the body 
एंड सॉम इज द स्टडी ऑफ इंटरनल इफेक्ट्स प्रोड्यूस्ड इन द बॉडी ड्यू टू अप्लाइड लोड्स सो डू यू फॉलो दिस सो फ्रेंड्स इन द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर वी विल स्टार्ट विद द फर्स्ट यूनिट दैट इज मूवमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया थैंक यू